What's up guys? It is currently 2.45 in the afternoon and I have completely forgot that I was going to vlog today. So I'm here and I am coming at y'all with a vlog today because I just, I wanted to vlog today. I know y'all like vlogs. I love spending the day with you. So I wanted to vlog. It's 2.45 and I completely like, it slipped in my mind that I wanted to vlog today. I haven't done much today, but I figured I would pick up the vlog here. So far today, I just, I went and got coffee this morning. I like drove to this coffee shop. It's literally the best coffee in the area. If you live in the Bay Area, send me a message and I will send you all to the best coffee shop that I've ever been to in my life. Went there this morning, got some coffee. My intentions were to go and work and edit there, but there was like no outdoor seating and it was just a big old mess. And then I had a really, really great phone call with my friends and we were on the phone for like an hour and a half. I was just in the car talking and we were talking about God. We had a great, really great talk and we were reading some scriptures and praying and stuff and it was just amazing. And after that, I just came home, made lunch. I made like these paleo waffle things with like bananas it kind of wasn't that great but that was my lunch and yeah and so for the rest of the day I have planned is I need to clean up a little bit before I leave and in about I'd say in about like 30 40 ish minutes I need to leave because tonight I'm we're having a worship night at my church so I'm leading worship tonight at church super excited I love worship and I love worship nights we haven't done a worship night in a very long time so I'm pumped about that also y'all if you have following me on Instagram You'll see that I just posted about this Sherpa. Can you guys tell it's a Sherpa on camera? Jacket that I just like rediscovered that I like forgot that I had. But I'm going to wear this tonight with this praying hands shirt. I don't know if you can see it. And of course, my my Converse. But yeah, so I have to, a little bit to do before I leave. I have to clean up because my house is a mess. And I know we're going to want to just come home from this worship night and make dinner and relax. And not have to worry about like cleaning and everything. So I have a bunch of dishes to do. I probably won't have time to do them but I'm going to clean up the living room do like a, a surface clean so I'll show y'all how I do that and I know a lot of you guys love relaxing time-lapse cleaning so I'm gonna do a little bit of that for y'all and then I do need to do like a little bit more makeup I was gonna just do some lipstick or something and yeah I might get some coffee before I'm not sure maybe I'll get like some energy drinks for Psyche and I we'll see but yeah I'm glad y'all are here coming along with me for the rest of my day today. And let's just get a move on, why don't we? Okay, y'all, I will show you my kitchen if you don't make fun of me, okay? So this is it. This is real life, y'all. We have all these dirty dishes because the last couple of days have been insane. And also our kitchen, let me just show you. Our kitchen is so small that honestly any amount of dishes makes it feel cluttered. So I'm gonna, I think these are clean. I'm gonna go ahead and put all these. Yes, they are clean. Dishes away. And I'm gonna load the dishwasher and then I'm just gonna leave the rest for later because I don't have time to do this. So I'm gonna clear this, do this. Also need to clear this situation. So let's do it. Okay, so I cleared all of the counters. I wiped off the stove. These are all the dishes that I have left, but all these ones need to be hand washed. So I put all of the ones that needed to go in the dishwasher going. That's why it's very loud. Um, and now I need to clear out this area. So I'm gonna do that. And then I think it's, I need to go soon. Let me see what time is it. It is 3.07. So I have about 20 minutes before I need to leave. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I'll finish getting ready and everything. And then we'll go. So. Yeah. If you guys are wondering what cleaner I use, this is Thieves Cleaner. So it is from Young Living. It comes in a bottle like this. And then I just use like a little tiny cap full and I put it in this big glass jar, fill it up with water all the way and it lasts me forever. I've only bought one of these and I'm probably four months into it. <laughs> I only bought one, so highly recommend if y'all wanna get your hands on this, message me, I can hook y'all up, let y'all know. But yeah, that's what I use. Okay, 
Okay, now this area is clean. I'm keeping this pan there because this is a pan we have to return to Psyche's mom. So we're just keeping it there so that we can remember to take it. This is the bag I have to bring tonight. And then, yeah, I have to fill up my water bottle before I leave so I have water. Also wanted to mention really quick, we got this table set. I don't know if y'all can hear me because dishwasher be real loud um but we got this table set on facebook marketplace for i think 50 dollars, 60 dollars. it was a really great deal so don't have a link for you but also this i feel like i get a lot of questions on my butterfly <laughs> poster thing and this thing is from world market my roommate got it for me last year and it's beautiful yeah got like this mirror at um goodwill savers one of those two places i love it because it's right by the door so like right when i'm leaving you know you can check yourself make sure you're a uh, Got the armor of God on, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm closing the door so y'all can hear me better, but now I'm going to finish getting ready. I think all I want to do is put a little bit of eyeshadow. So I like this color right here. It is like a really bright, shimmery color. I don't know, I'm not a beauty guru, but I just like to put it on this finger and I love to put it on my inner eye. I don't know if y'all can see that, but just makes it pop a little bit more and i really like that because it looks really pretty i like it so that's what i'm gonna do put a little bit of the uh excess on my nose and my um lip right there and then lastly i think i'm gonna wear lipstick tonight because although we are in a pandemic since i'm leading worship i actually don't wear a mask so um just when i'm leading worship obviously when i'm not leading worship I will wear one, but this is my all-time favorite lip thing. I sound like such a basic woman, but uh, this is the Kylie Jenner lip kit one. I got this like a long time ago, like two years ago maybe, and it's lasted me this long. So I honestly have no clue what the color is, but this is, it's like the nude one. And I think it looks really, really good on my skin tone. So I am going to, I think it's going to look good with the jacket. So I'm not gonna lie, my lips are really chapped right now, but that's okay. Um, but that is the thing is that normally like liquid lipsticks are really bad for chapped lips, like they look all cracky, but I honestly feel like the this one doesn't make them look too chapped. I feel like it actually makes them look better, so. Yeah, and then I'll probably put a little bit of dry shampoo and my hair just to fluff it a little bit. If y'all wanna know how I do my hair like this, I get so many compliments when I do my hair like this. And I use this. So this is really burnt. As you can see, it's very old. But this is just a bed head like waver, like has the three things. And then you just like hold it and you crimp it. And I love it. I've had that one for forever. The only two products that I use is that or my wand from Bedhead. And this is my wand. It's very old as you can tell because the tip has fallen off. But these are literally the only two products that I use on my hair. I'll usually curl it or I'll crimp it or I'll just like leave it natural. So that's what I did yesterday. So this is just left over from that. A lot of people think this is my natural hair, but my, my natural hair is legit like pin straight so it's definitely not my natural hair i wish and then i'll just go with a little bit of hairspray just very very lightly because i do like them looking loose and i like them when they fall out a little bit so i look so pathetic like squeezing it like that but that's what works for me so but yes this is the finished look gonna just do this go with this i think it looks good this is the shirt i was telling you all about it has like the prayer hands and I think it's really cute so yeah here is like the full outfit this is the Sherpa thing that I have that I was telling you about it's like super long so I like I feel comfortable wearing leggings with it um, and it covers my bum and then I have this shirt this is a Bethel shirt and then I have leggings and then my converse like I said so it's a super comfortable outfit because I love to be comfortable when I lead worship just because I don't have to like focus on like being distracted by what I'm wearing or like uncomfortable. So yes, it is about 3.30 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my bag, grab my water bottle, get my in-ears, and we will head out the door.
Okay, y'all, legit, right before I head out the door right now, I'm gonna show you guys what I bring with me anytime I'm leading worship or anytime I, usually just anytime I'm at church because I just usually always bring the same things to him leading and if I'm not. So, first thing is obviously my Bible. If it's a worship night, if it's a church day, it doesn't matter, I'm always, I literally always have my Bible with me. So, and then I always have like a pen with me. So this time I have just like these two, I have a highlighter and a pen and I always bring it with me because I'm a big like highlighter and journal, journaler. So obviously you probably know that by now, but I always have my Bible. Obviously I always have some water, very important to stay hydrated when you're singing for that long. And then lastly, I have my in-ears. So if you guys lead worship, you probably already know what these are, but if you don't, it's basically like having a monitor, like a speaker that's on stage, but in your ears, they're like tiny little headphones. But the reason that you have them is because there's usually an MD, the music director, and they are telling you like, go back to the chorus, or they're telling you we're gonna do this, or you can hear the click and you can hear the guide. So like there's a guide to the song that's saying like verse, so that you don't like lose track of where you're at. I was blessed by Psyche's parents. They got me these. These are custom in-ears, so they are like, I had like foam in my ears and I had my molds taken so that I have custom in-ears and they, they are beautiful. I wanted to show you guys because I just love them so much. So I decided on getting the clear like wire. I don't know what you'd call that, the clear wire. And then I also got two different colored earbuds. The reason being when they're just like out, they're so much easier to look at the outside color to see if it's right or left ear than it is to actually look on it and like read what it says. So I have one of them that is this plain neutral color and I love it just so that it blends in with my ear. And then the other one is this really cute sparkly one. So it is just gold glitter. So my right one is gold and glittery and my left one is like tan colored. I don't know what you call that. So they're awesome. I'll show you how they go in really quick. Um, just cause I am so obsessed with these guys. And y'all, when you have them on, you cannot hear anything. Like whenever I have them on, if I'm like listening to music or something, Psyche has to tell me to be quiet because I will scream. This is what they look like. They are just, they go into my ear all the way. And part of the reason why I had to get custom in-ears was because my ears are literally tiny. Like, I don't think you guys understand. They look like they're normally sized ears. They look a little bit small, but like the actual inside, they are so, they are very, very small. And so any in-ears that I tried before just did not fit my ears. And so I had to get custom in-ears or else I wouldn't be able to use any. So, and they also came in this really cool tin that has my name on it. How cute is that? Chloe Jean Roy. How cute is that? So yes, I have my Bible. I have my in-ears, have my water. And I usually have like pens and highlighters and stuff in my backpack. So that is everything that I like to bring with me. So now I'm just gonna... Go ahead and pack everything away. And I'm gonna head to the church because I have got to go. <laughs> I also really love this backpack. It's one of those ones that are like really hard to pronounce, but I just like the colors. I got this, I think when I was like a senior in high school, but it's so cute. It's like olive green. It's like so my colors. You have to admit those are my colors. So got my backpack and now it is time to leave. <laughs> I just got to the church, but I wanted to show y'all, got some Starbucks. I'm gonna try it for you. I am trying the Venti Iced Peach Green Tea with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. So let's try it and see if it's good or not. I was gonna get like cream in it, but I'm singing, so it probably will be great. Dude, that actually low-key tastes like, like something like candy, like Starbursts or Skittles. Wow, that tastes so good, y'all. I definitely recommend if you wanna get something that's not going to like be really heavy, definitely get this. It's a venti, I got a venti iced peach green tea with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and it's very good, so yum. Okay, so I just got to the church. Now I'm gonna go inside and do worship, so. Help me. Oh, dude, taste this. I love vlog. Oh. It's not good. It's sugar free. You don't like it? Oh, it's good. Oh, I think it's really good. Mm. Do you like my jacket? I do. It's super cute. He does this with me every time. Yes, I do. I have to make sure they're tucked in. 
Are you excited? I'm not sure. Yeah, I am excited. I think it'll be a good set. Got everything squared away on the tech front, so that's really cool. You can see the cameras moving in the in the background. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be good. It should be good. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. This is our first like this only is... worship night here up at the church. This is the first one I've ever done. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember the last one we've done like this, like up at the hey. church. <laughs> this is our worship pastor. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're just getting ready. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Chloe told me I get a little camera time. I'm taking you up to my to my little abode up above kind of where the stage is. You can see the lights are bright, but here it is. Wow. Here's a Here's my, my cage, here's my stuff. You come in here, got my rig set up, all that stuff. But everyone's down there. I get a whole crazy view of the whole um, sanctuary, which is pretty cool. And Chloe, he's down there. Let's see if she sees. Oh, well, guess not. But yeah, no, this is my, my little space up here, which is kind of cool. You can see everything, but yeah, so. That's fine, I'll pass it back to Chloe. I'm not much of a vlogger, but that's okay. <laughs> guys okay so it's been like a day since i saw you last last night the worship night was amazing it was great it was insane and i just forgot to film the rest of the night because it was so good and the presence of god was just so present and yeah so i didn't film the rest of it but i just got off of a bible study with my friend louisa as you just saw and i wanted to go over some of it with you guys so we literally went through all of james she went through all of james it was amazing i've been reading a lot through james recently i feel like it's been something that i feel like is very necessary for right now especially just in life i feel like it's just always new like every time i read it there's just more new that i'm reading i recently just got this bible this was the nlt version and i have never read the nlt version before so it's just so sweet it's just so great and so there's the one section i wanted it to focus on a very very tiny section and it really doesn't talk about it much in this passage but she was talking about it and i feel like it was something that really needs to be shared with anyone that can get that can hear she was kind of talking about the importance of repentance and how important it is we, when we say we want to turn to God we want to turn to God you know we obviously that means if we want to turn towards something that means we're turning away from something right so when we turn towards God we have to turn away from the world and so even in in first John when it says you cannot love the world and whoever loves the world the love of the father is not in him and so it's so important and so it, it's it's so important that we turn away from the world that we turn away from the world and we turn back towards Jesus. If you guys watched the last video I did, it was about should Christians watch secular movies and music and stuff. And one of the scriptures that I mes men mentioned was the first John verse about uh, do not love the world because the love of the Father is not in you. That is first John 2 15 I believe and just how important it is to not love the world. And so one of the one of the sections in James is in chapter 5 and it says the power of prayer. Verse uh, 16 says this, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. And I feel like so often we think that it's okay to just sin and then I just keep going and just keep going and going and going and, and, and stop sinning. Yes, we'll stop sinning, but oftentimes we don't take time to sit there, reflect on it, 
repent for that. Ask God to show us, to reveal to us the things in our life that needs to be that needs to be revealed. We don't we don't stop and ask God to to light up the the places in our hearts, the dark places in our heart that needs to be light up and to just reveal things to us and show us what we need to repent. And so right here it says confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. And so I, I encourage you to pray, ask God, what areas of your life do you need to, to turn away from and turn to God in, you know? What areas of your life are you living in the world? What areas of your life do you need to confess to your friends maybe? And so that was the section that I wanted to say was, I feel like so often it's easy to, it's easy to repent in our, in our heads. It's easy to repent with ourselves. But what's hard is to repent and confess our sins to our friends, to other believers. And so it's so important to have other people in your life that you can have that accountability with, that you can confess to, and that they're not going to judge you, but instead they're going to be praying for you so that you guys will be healed. And so I just encourage you guys to go find those people and to just confess those uh, those things to those people. And right now, you know, just ask God, what is something in your life that needs to be lit up? Light up the areas in your, in your heart, the dark places that need to have a light sh shone on them and yeah and just repent and turn away from the world because in order to turn to god that means what that means we have to turn away from something else right and so obviously i encourage you to turn to god run to god but in order to run to god we're obviously running away from something else and so ask god you know what am i running away from what am i turning away from and go and do that and so that was my little encouragement for you guys go and read james it's so good i feel like every single time i read it i literally get like a million more of things but yes i just encourage you to read read james just read it if you've read it like yesterday read it again right now it's so good and it's always new and god's word is alive and it's 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 living and jesus is alive and he's living and um the holy spirit is just so real so read that it is currently 5 42 on thursday so yesterday i obviously didn't finish the vlog but i'm gonna go ahead and start editing now and we will see how much footage i have maybe i'll vlog a little bit tomorrow but if not if this video is already long enough then i don't want to keep y'all for too long so I'm gonna go and start editing this footage and I'll vlog a little bit of that and we'll see where we're at and so yeah thank you for tuning in for a little bit of encouragement <laughs>